Michael from St. Mary Parish Library System. Today we will be making some lizards from cardboard egg cartons. As you can see, we will be using many different pieces of, of the cartons to uh, make the lizard, such as the feet, the tails, the eyes, and we will have some blue paper for, for the tongue. And just to show you again, we're, this is what we're going to be using. You're going to be getting 12 of these these cones, four four of these, two strips of papers for the eyes, one strip of blue blue paper for the tongue. If you have any other color paper that you want to use, you can replace that with what you have. And we're also going to have some colors with blue and red, green, yellow, and brown and white. Uh, you, I am also going to be using some hot glue gun to glue to glue all the egg gardens all together, and alongside the eyes, the, the tongue, and the feet. Okay, first thing we'll do with the egg, the egg carton lizard, is we're going to cut the mouths up. So we'll start making a triangle on one side oh, there we go. don't don't worry if you cut a little bit off the size that's fine you could just paint over it there you go just like so and then you're gonna cut cut the top of it then go like that you can make Make the triangle as however you like, like as long as you don't cut past the end and just open it up. Okay, so here's the first one. We're going to do a do a second one, so the tongue can go deep within the mouth. You will be using scissors, so be very careful when when you cut it out, so you don't cut your finger. So. Unlike what I'm doing, holding my finger in, inside the, the hole, hold the size of it, less risk of cutting yourself. There we go. So now we're going to use the hot glue to glue the size of it. You don't want to put it too far in or it will just make the lizard short and small. Okay, so like so. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the side. And just place place it in. The glue will still still be hot. So if you wanna use use a napkin to uh, so you don't burn your fingers, you could do like so. So this is pretty much the first step you will do. Then we'll continue on with the body, the rest of the body. I'll save this one for later. So just like so, do the same. You can do it on the side, the top, or the bottom. It's however you prefer. I'll be gluing it on the sides of the body. You don't need to use that much glue because hot glue. Uh, sticks well, so just a little bit like so. Oh, a little too much. Just gonna pull it back. Okay. So let's see. This one should be good. Once again, on the side like so. A little line. And just enough so just enough so you have a little bit more about almost an inch of length back on there. Okay, let's one last one before we start on the tail. No, not not this one. Let's try this one. It looks like it's not that dry yet. So gotta hold it steady. Okay, just 
slide it on in. Okay, so this is going to be your main body. Main body right here. First, then, as you can see right this one, we're going to put this part in, well, one part like this, so we can start curving the tail. So let's find a nice small one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, like so. So we're gonna do the do the bottom and the top like so. And we're just gonna slide it in and like this. As you can see, it's inverted. That's that's how we could start turning it like this. You could turn it e either way you want, either to the left or the right. There we go. So next we're going to put a little bit right here, right here. And we're going to do like so. If you have any glue that's running, well, no, this one's not going to be good. Let's replace this one. The glue will still be useful for later. Let's see. Yeah, like this one's good. You could hold it down like this. Once again, if it's too hot, you could use a napkin or any anything else to uh, to lessen the heat on your fingers. Okay. Okay. So now we can start curving the tail. You will have gaps between it, but that's just fine. This is where the paint comes in later. Okay, so, once again, a little bit right here, like so. And just put it on. If you really need to, you can glue a little bit in there. And just re push it down. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to be making the tail. You're going like like so you're going to need to cut the cut these in half. So you will have more. Okay. Okay, so now I got these these cut in cut in half or cut in two if you might say they're not halfway down down the line. We're gonna, we're gonna put a little glue right here and just slide it on. As you can see, I'm, I'll push down a little too hard, and there's gonna be some runoff. You can use use your your paintbrush to scoop it up a little bit and just wipe it off with the napkin. So next one, same thing. Just like so, there's, one, there's some runoff, so scoop it up and wipe it off. Okay, so if you find that you, you have the, the size are too big, feel free to always cut. Just trim it up a little bit, the shorter the length. Like so. And one, one last one. Yeah, one last one for to finish off the tail. Yeah, 
let's let's do that. A little bit, a little bit of a dribble. There we go. Just like so. Okay. Next, we're going to be putting in the tongue. As you can see, I decided to just do a little twin fork tongue. You could do however you want. So I'm just going to do the same thing. So, no, let's do it on this side. Okay, and clean it up a bit. Okay, so the tongue may be a little long for for the two holes in the mouth, so you can do like so and fold it up a little bit. So you'll fold it up, pull a little dab of glue, like so, and just use your paintbrush. To set in, set it in place. Like so. Then you're gonna do do that once again. Put another little dab of glue. But you wanna sl slide slide it in. And once you slide it in, you're gonna use your you're gonna just flip it upside down. Put your paintbrush in. And you just hold it in place for for a few seconds, so the glue can settle, like so. So next we're gonna do the eyes. Here's the eyes. You, I have a little little short one, but y'all will be getting some that are longer than this. So you just roll it up, roll it up like this, and before the end, you put. To move you out of the way. You want to put a little bit of glue, just a little bit, and once again, use the brush, set it with the glue. There we go. So now we're going to be putting them on, putting the eyes on their head. So one dot, dot right there. The eye. You can hold it. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Second dot right here. Second dot right there. And just hold it down. So that's. One eye, two eyes, and the tongue. That was all you need to do for for the head before you start painting it. Now we're going to be doing the feet. As you see, the feet are kind of tiny on this one. For these to be used for your feet, you are going to be using using scissors once again to cut them. So. I say I'm going to have my lizard have three toes on each feet, so I'm just going to do one, two. I'll tell you what, how about four? Three, four. Like so. And we're just going to cut off the, the excess right here. Like so. One, two, and three and four and cut off the excess. Okay, so you, now you just flip your lizard over 
and start putting the feet on. So, two in the back, two in the front. One. But, yeah, one at a time. Don't have to rush this. And like so, just hold it down. Okay. Next one. Dab of glue. Just press it down so let the glue the glue harden on it. And the last two in the front. I say we put it right here with the most room. Press it down. There, there you go. So now, now my lizard has some uh, some short feet. As you can see. Okay, so now it comes to the part where you can, to paint your lizard. You can paint it however you want. Oh, let's just move it on its own. You can paint it however you want. I'm just gonna do green and yellow. But you have the options of six, six different colors for any for any combination between those. So, let's try uh, a yellow tail. Don't be afraid to use as much paint as you, as you want. You might need, need to do uh, several coats to get it get it on there since the cardboard seems to uh, be darker than the paint so you can see it see through it let's see I think a green head will be good right on top so you can see the green is much darker than than the yellow and doesn't show the cardboard. Okay, like so. A little bit, not a little dab of it. I can see I'm, I'm touching up on the eyes, but you can just cover over that afterwards when the paint dries with another color if you if you wish. Well, this is my lizard. It still has to do dry and I have to do several layers, but I'll do that on my own time. Hopefully y'all could be a better painter than I have. I'm Michael from St. Mary Parish Library System, and this has been Egg Card and Lizards. Hope you have a good day.